Hello friends, I'm Rosa. Welcome to the channel. So today we're doing another bookish unboxings. I do have two boxes. One is the Illumicrate July box that I have. Actually, both of these boxes I've picked up today. And let me tell you, if I look like a mess, it's because it's raining outside. <laughs> but I really wanted my hands on these boxes today. So we're opening them together. The other one is a special edition set. I'll be opening the monthly box first. And then we're gonna have a look at the special editions afterwards. I'm super excited for them though. But I got myself my bugs right here. There's a number on it, okay. <laughs> but um, have unfortunately been spoiled for the... I already knew what book it was, I just didn't know what it would look like. But there are people out there that don't know how to not post spoilers on Instagram. Even people with like massive amounts of followers and it's like... I thought there was like an unspoken rule or unwritten rule that you don't post the books from the boxes, like the book boxes, until it's been like a couple of weeks. But unfortunately not, so I've already seen it. However, it's gonna be different having it in my own hands, of course, but let's get started. I will be linking to Illumicrate's Instagram and also website in the description box if you wanna, if you wanna check them out. But as for the items, I have no idea what's in it. Or that's not true, I, I do know. <laughs> I do know because I'm quite active over on Illumicrate's Discord server. So I kinda, we've kind of already guessed a couple of items. I've not seen them though. Anyway, we have ourselves, yeah, that's the one item I knew was gonna be in it. So we have a box. This month's theme is In Too Deep. It's got something to do with water. If you know the cover of the book, you might be able to guess it from this. There's, uh, ooh, next month's theme or August, which is technically this month. I'm not gonna read the spoilers because I like to guess fandoms, so I'm just not gonna spoil anything for myself. But let's just start with this item because this is the one that I know is going to be there. And it's gonna be so noisy. But this is a towel. I kinda, okay. As far as I know, it's, yeah, Fog of the Air by Holly Black, so The Cruel Prince. I kinda don't wanna take it out because I don't think I'm gonna use this ever to be honest, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna show this off for you guys. Like, I'm not a bitch kind of person for obvious reasons. I just don't do well with the sun. I don't tan, so I don't go to the beach to tan. I don't like sand. <laughs> I don't like swimming in the ocean. Listen, the beach is just not for me, so a beach towel is kind of like not really gonna have much use of it. And I like the towels that I have at home for my hair and everything, so I'm probably not gonna use this, but let's have a look at it anyway. Oh, it looks cute so far, right? Okay. It's quite a big one too. Wow, it's definitely a beach towel. Well, I can't see it. Can you see it? What's on it? Is there something on it? Is there water in Fog of the Air? Have I missed something? Because I've only read Cruel Prince. What's the whole crab? I got questions. Why is there a mermaid? Since when do they have mermaids? Is that a Kelpie? I have questions for the plot. I don't, what? How is this inspired But I, okay, well, I'm reading The Cruel, no, that's not what it's called. The Wicked King and also Queen of Nothing here in August. So hopefully I'll have some of my questions answered, such as why is everything, <laughs> why is it all underwater themed? Like there's a mermaid over here. I don't, since when? Since, since when? Since when is that, is that a thing? Like, I don't know. Anyway, very interesting. Um, I'm gonna put that right here. It's gonna take up most of the most of the space on my shelf. I will say like quality wise feels okay. It feels like microfiber, which it is because there's a tag on it. <laughs> so I just don't as yeah, microfiber. So it feels quite nice. It's not too thin either, but again, I'm not a beach kind of person and definitely is a beach towel, so I'm just that's so funny. Are you are you kidding? <laughs> That is so funny. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna use it, but I wanna tell you why this is funny, but I might have to put a spoiler. Um, Beneath the Waves towel is... The artwork is done by Yoshi... Yoshi Yoshitani, and it is indeed inspired by Folk of the Air. So, okay. This is quite funny. Um, So these are... <laughs> Metal straws. You'll know why it's funny if you watch my last unboxing. <laughs> oh, but these are colored! Oh, crimson... No, that's not what it says. Water Strider, Golden Eagle, Carrion Crow, and Winged Serpent. What does that remind me of? Is it supposed to be inspired by something? So we have a Boba one right here, but we also have three that are gold at the bottom, and then they have like a gradual blue, teal, whatever color this is. Orange or peach? Orange? I don't know. And the black one is a 
boba one. Are these inspired by something though? Black Sun Straw Set. Oh, that's why it seemed familiar. Spy inspired by Black Sun. Designed by Lumicrate. Take a sip with one of our four metal straws representing the clans from Black Sun. It's been a while since I read that book. Quite a cool book, but a little bit confusing at times. So like pay attention if you choose to read it. Um, it also came out with a cleaner which is pretty handy. I have so many metal straws by now. Most of them are from Illumicrate, but honestly, I use them on a daily basis. So like, I'll always get use out of these. <laughs> so another set of metal straws. I'm not complaining though, because they are a pain to clean and, or at least like, I don't like cleaning metal straws, but I use them every day. So it's nice to have more. It means I can like postpone cleaning them for as much as possible. Anyway, we got this uh, interesting box, which I believe might be a water bottle. And it indeed is, but I think it's mm, possibly also fandom neutral. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. And it's glass. Ooh, and it says, read a thousand books and your words will flow like a river. That definitely fits the theme well. I mean, straws, I don't really see how they fit the theme, but like a water bottle with uh, waves on it and books and also a towel most definitely do fit the theme. That's a very cute water bottle. I'm going to use this so much. It's such a cute water bottle. And I love that it's glass. At least I think it's proper glass. We have Flow Like a River water bottle. Oh, and the design is by Rastatir on Instagram. It says, sate your thirst with this glass water bottle. So it is indeed fandom neutral. But the quote is from someone who's called Lisa C. I've never heard that quote before, but resonated with it. Nice, very nice. Okay, last item before the book, I think, is this. And I'm confused. It makes noises. Property of the Night Spire. Wait, where have I heard that before? No idea what this is though. There's a hole at the top. Am I supposed to open it? <sighs> I don't think it's a flute. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Travel toothbrush holder. Oh, I have a travel toothbrush holder because I have an electrical <laughs> toothbrush. Um, It already came with like a, a little bag. Wait, this has a toothbrush in it. Made out of wood. That's funny. It came with a toothbrush. Okay, I'm gonna be real. Probably not getting any use out of this because I already have a toothbrush with a travel, like a travel holder thing, which actually mine makes it possible to charge my toothbrush while it's closed. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't think this one does that. I like the concept though. I like the concept, but I think like something like toothbrushes is a little bit of a very, almost one as a personal thing. Like it's very different from person to person how they like their, their toothbrushes. Anyways, this is designed by No One Designs and it says, does this travel toothbrush holder actually belong to Alucard Emery. Alucard? Isn't he from uh, a, a darker shade of magic? Yeah, he is. That also fits with the whole- I'm so sorry, this is so noisy. Fits with the whole pirate theme too. Who can say, but it's stylish enough to- yeah, that's definitely Alucard from the, A Darker Shade of Magic. Okay, other than that, the items are pretty cool. Not my best month as for items, but it's also just because I already have a toothbrush and I don't go to the beach. But regardless, impressed with them. And I'll be getting so much use out of these too, like it's ridiculous. Okay, but as for the book, which has been slightly spoiled for me already, we got no letter, no. Okay, is it upside down? No, it's not. Okay, so the book of the month is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd Jones. This is an exclusive cover because the original is a little bit more, I think, this color scheme. Ooh, stencil edges. They look like, uh, like waves, kind of. They're very nice. It's been a while since I've seen more simple edges from Illumicrate as well, so it's a bit funny. I like the blue look to this book. Let's see what else we got going on underneath. Oh, there's a lot of... This is giving me fairy loot vibes. It's so funny. <laughs> a lot of foiling going on on this book. Um, I'm having like a hard time figuring out what's happening with the motif here. There's a girl. I see a girl, but I don't really... I can't tell what else is happening here. Please help a girl out because... Maybe that's just what it is. Maybe it's just a girl. And then with the frame and her hair is long or something, there's some weight. I don't really know what's going on, but it's quite pretty regardless. The spine looks like this with the foiling. So it's just, uh, my camera will focus, which it probably will not. <laughs> I believe there should be some- oh, that's pretty! Wow! We have some dust jacket art, which looks like this. Quite a lot going on here, too. I wonder if it's the same artist who did the foiling on the, uh, on the naked cover. But it's quite pretty. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's see what else we got. No end papers, or no custom end papers. 
but it is signed which is so cool i loved the bone houses that she released last year so i kind of have high expectations for this one also because as far as i know there's a corgi in it <laughs> And if you did not know, I might be more or less obsessed with corgis. Just, uh, yes, it's a thing, okay? I love corgis. That's just how it is. So as far as I know, there's a corgi in this book. I don't know if it talks or if it's just there or what's going on, but I like the addition of a corgi, nonetheless. So let's have a look. Reverse dust jacket art and full embossing on the heart. Bag is done by Niall C. Grant. And it also has an exclusive cover, which is a colorway change, and stenciled edges. So it's a quite a pretty cover. Like, I definitely prefer this over... I think I prefer this over the U.S. cover, as far as I remember. Although the two definitely go together a bit more, because I have the U.S. of the Bone Houses. Quite a, quite a pretty book, if I may say so. Let's have a look at the synopsis. Once upon a time, the kingdoms of Wales were rife with magic and conflict. An 18-year-old Merrid? Mare. Jeez, that's a mouthful of a name. Merrid. Okay. Is well acquainted with both. As the last living water diviner, she can manipulate water with magic, a unique elemental power many would kill to possess. For years, Mare has been running from the prince who bound her into his service and forced her to kill thousands with her magic. Now all Mare truly wants is a safe, quiet life far from power and politics. But then Mare's old handler, the king's spymaster, returns with a proposition. Use her powers to bring down the very prince that abused them both. With the help of a fake cursed man, a snarky thief, and a corgi that may or may not be a spy, Mare must decide if she's prepared to run for the rest of her life or to stand and fight for her freedom and peace. I like that her name is Mare because it means water. I forgot what language, but it means water in some language. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so that was... I think that was it for this month. Yeah, we do have August theme though, which is knowledge is power, and when I tell you that I'm excited for this month, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even cover it. I'm so excited. It's ridiculous. I cannot wait. As for favorite item, one of these two. I just don't know which one. I feel like I'll get much use out of both. The towel is beautiful, but it's a beach towel, and I just don't see myself ever using it. The toothbrush, I like the concept, but again, just don't see myself ever using it. So um, it would have to be one of those two, most definitely. Which one? I don't know. But um, that's the unboxing for this month. So I still have one more box that we're gonna un unbox, that we're gonna open. Because I did a week of announcements some time ago. I think it was back in May. And I was like every day going on their Instagram to keep track of the announcements, see if there were any of them that I really wanted. Of course, there were, but the one that really really got me of their announcements is what's in this box and um this is quite heavy so i'm gonna put this down i might already say it now because it's the bridgerton set and i probably put it in the title but i have seen pictures of these books Ooh, fluctuating on the internet both on the server but also on instagram and twitter and they look so beautiful so i'm so excited that they're finally here because they're like B format so they're super small however they're redesigned with super cute foiling on them and they're also rainbow so we have on the way to the wedding which I believe is possibly the last book I don't remember the exact order but there's also eight books so there's quite a lot to keep track of but this is the first one yeah the Duke and I so we have a rose we have because it's her story i forgot her name right now but she's on the spine so on the way to the wedding is one of the brothers story so he's on the spine they all have sprayed edges that fit with the cover and i believe this one should also be signed which it is so it's right here the funny thing about these B format books is that like they're super tiny but they're hardbacks they're basically the size of a paperback I'm actually going to show you just to compare, but this is a Colleen Hoover paperback, so it's a little bit taller, which is quite funny. But compared to a normal sized paperback or like a standard size, they're about the same size. So they're like super tiny hardbacks. They're so cute. Which I quite like. Like, I don't like it for fantasy books, but I quite like it for romance books. I don't need my romance books to be like 
huge in any way. <laughs> I'm okay with them just being like small and cute, you know? Small, cute, and colorful. We have When She Was Wicked, which is purple with thistle on it. There's It's In His Kiss. I believe this is one of the last ones as well, isn't it? Oh gosh, it doesn't say on the spine. I don't remember the order exactly, but that one's a little bit more on the pink side. Oh, here we got To Sir Philip with Love. And this is one of the uh, the doors, so I know that it goes right there, but I know that it's number five then. Here's the other door. This one is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. They are so cute. Like, the foiling on these is so... I love it. It looks so much better in real life, too. Which is saying a lot, because they look so cute online. We have the v Viscount. I want to call it Viscount, but I don't actually fully know how to pronounce that word. I'm only calling it Viscount because because I was obsessed with Phantom of the Opera when I was a kid. I mean, still kind of am, but in that movie. They call, they call them the Counts, but I think it might be because they have like a little bit of French accent to them. <laughs> but anyway, the Vicount Who Loved Me, which is definitely the sequel. And then we have an offer from A Gentleman. I believe this is actually the third book. So I'm gonna swap these around a little bit. Kind of thinking this goes in here. Right, that looks right. Can you see that? No, not really. Actually, let's move them up here. Okay, so this is sticking out a little bit, but don't tell me that's not cute. I hope it's showing off, but like, or like, it's showing up properly, but it's the Bridgerton house with the characters, and it's just so cute. I love it. I'm gonna have to display it like this on my shelves. I'm really excited that I got this set, because when I tell you it sold out quickly, it's a lot so quickly. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for, for this video then, for this unboxing. I usually don't keep or add special edition unboxings to these bookish unboxings, these monthly unboxings, but I just really wanted to include it this time also because it's eight books. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've read any of the books, The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones jo or any of the Bridgerton books, definitely let me know what you thought. Let me know what your favorite item in the July box was as well. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. But I think that is all. So if you want to see more videos from me, more bookish unboxings, but also TBR videos, reading wrap ups, readathons, weekly vlogs, and you know, all that booktube stuff, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button. But I'm gonna go now, try to see if I can find room for, <laughs> for these eight new books. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, you know, you're beautiful.